beautiful people welcome back to our youtube channel and thank you so much for joining the channel today so guys if this is your first time please do not forget to subscribe that is the first thing you should do for me the second thing you should do for me is to like this video the third thing you should do for me is to share the video so that somebody somewhere can benefit from this i hope you enjoy this thank you so much so guys i'm going to be talking about a university in europe this university is actually open and accepting international students as I speak to you. There are bachelor's and master's degree programs you can study in this university. And if you want to move to Europe in 2024, by September or October, you should start studies. Then you have to watch this video to the end because in this video, I'm going to talk about some things you need to know about the university. I will equally talk about the requirements you need to apply to this university. I will also talk about some dates, tuition and courses available in this university. And I would conclude with application process. First of all, let's talk about the date. But before we talk about the date, my name is Milton. If you are just joining, please do not forget I am the chairman of the Broke community. On this channel, I make sure that I bring information to international students, people who don't know, people who are just like me, who grew up in families like me, who didn't know anything, who are just struggling to survive, right? Excellent. So this is our channel and we keep moving ahead. First thing first, this university charge below 2,500. There are courses here you can study for 2,300, 2,000. Let's just say 2,500 maximum. This is euros I'm talking about per year. But remember, there is a possibility for you to apply for an excellent scholarship in this university. There is a possibility for you to apply for a scholarship in that region where the university is. And there is a possibility for you to apply for the government scholarship called the Italian government scholarship. So the Italian government scholarship is the first one. The Padua Excellence Scholarship is the second one and the Regional Scholarship which is the Padua Regional Scholarship. I talked about this in one video before. So these are the possibilities or the opportunities open in this particular university and the name of the university is called University of Padua. Now, this school is located in Italy, somewhere in Italy, but we should be interested in some of the things available and like I explained to you alongside programs. Now, the application deadline, let me talk about the deadline first so that you should know that while you are doing your other things, you have to apply as fast as possible. The deadline is the 3rd of May. So as you are watching this video, you have less than three weeks to do the application as fast as possible. I'm going to tell you the documents you need to submit and how the application process runs. But before I talk about this thing, this school is a public university in Italy and you already know the advantages of a public university. This university can accept 2.0 2.5 not 2.0 2.5 gpa but if your gpa is low if you have a third class listen to me keenly please if you have a third class and what you studied at bachelor's and what you want to go and study now in this particular university is the same then apply you stand a chance to gain admission so do, what do i mean here i'm saying that if you study something like marine biology at bachelor's and had a third class then you see a master's program in this university called marine biology apply for admissions because you can gain admissions and it will be possible for you to study like I said, it is not difficult to enter this university. This school is almost 800 years old. And of course, the acceptance rate is 60%, 60 to 65%. And do not forget that it is 151 world ranking. Like we around the world, it, this school is ranked 151. First in their region in Italy. And of course, the fourth university in italy so in the entire italy it is round foot then in its own region because there are various regions in italy for those who watch my videos on regional scholarships you will understand it in your own region it is number one okay so you should apply as fast as possible now let's talk about the requirements that you need to study in this university in italy first of all let me draw your attention to something 
if you really want to migrate to italy this is a school you should apply to and make sure you put in more applications because this is the final phase if you have been struggling to study in europe and italy doesn't give you an admissions then you just just forget i would also like to draw your attention to the fact that there are universities in italy for bachelors you can study english programs in masters or maybe let's just say you can study a bachelor's or master's program in english requirements for you to study at the university of padua include a motivation letter you need to write i think maximum two pages on explain yourself why you want to study at that university make sure you explain the importance of why you want to study in that school make sure you tell them why you choose italy make sure you tell them why you choose the program tell them what the program is going to do to you at the end of the day and please do not forget make sure you praise the university and some of the equipment that pull you through why didn't you go to another school but that university these are the things that should appear on your motivation letter now you also need ielts when you go to the online application where i'm going to to talk about it you will see a place they will ask you have you studied in are you coming from an english speaking country did you study your undergraduate in english or do you have a proficiency exam in english and remember the answer that you are going to give there you have to upload the document so if you've studied in an english country make sure your certificate is in english and if you have not studied let's just say you wrote the exam which exam i'm talking about the proficiency exam then you should upload your certificate to the university this is what they want to see then again you need to select a maximum of two programs now in most universities abroad you have to select two programs for one application fee and remember there is an application fee in this university so when you select two programs you will be accepted just to one and the other one will be discarded i hope you get the point so please put all of this into consideration it's so important then equally produce or supply to them your transcript of record transcript is very important and of course the transcript the diploma i'm talking now to those going for masters but if you are going for bachelors the transcript is equally important okay but uh, it will favor more those let's say those who are going for a master's degree because more those who are going for bachelors sometimes it's so hard to pull through especially when it involves that TOS exam that t o l c exam all right now you also need a copy of your passport these documents i'm explaining to you you need to upload them all of them then you also need a photo all right for you to continue you are going to find a place on the application website where you have to upload the photo it's so important then it looks like that photo it will be used to how do i put it that photo looks like it will be used to produce your school identity card okay so you need to put this into consideration then you also need your curriculum vt a cv is very important and make sure the program you are applying to make sure you edit your cv and add somewhere interest program interest add that that program or things related to that particular program it can help you and it's going to help you a lot so these are some of the things that you should put into consideration guys then for these are for the requirements if you are looking at courses you should know that there is a department called department of agronomy where you have agricultural sciences then you also have department of biomedical sciences where you have uh, biotechnology uh, bioengineering biochemistry and all the rest then you have a faculty of uh, let me say department of economics you also have department of industrial engineering de department of general psychology department of arts department of chemical sciences these are some of the departments okay in this university now within those departments you are going to find programs where you can study so put all of this into consideration then do not forget that after you gain admissions you have to pay tuition fee and also remember that after the tuition fee has been paid you equally need to um let me say uh, legalize your documents then prepare your documents and apply for visa but then we didn't talk about the application process all you need to do is to type the name of the school university on padua in google search bar then it's going to open you click on the register button it will carry you to another external site okay on that external site now you have to register when you register because you are new you don't have an account yet when you register they will then send you a link in your inbox in your email address and tell you to click that link and activate the account when you click the link now you will now set up your password and that will be how your account will be created then you select the two programs you are looking at make sure before you go to this website you should know the two programs you are looking at 
when you submit your documents to online then the only thing now left is for you they will ask you some questions of course i cannot begin to go into all the details when you submit the the documents you have to pay an application fee and of course submit your application this is how you need to go about this thing and many more applications but again this is the application process for the university of padua after this you can now apply for a study visa and remember you need to legalize your documents at the visa stage then remember also before you leave your home country make sure you have all documents for your regional scholarship application there are videos on this channel it may be linked up here so please check those videos and learn something then equally you shouldn't know like if you are moving to italy you should know by now that most students who studied in italy eu they usually have the right to visit more Schengen countries, like other countries within the Schengen zone. So your visa is going to carry you to other 26 or 27, is it 28 countries within the Schengen zone? And of course, do not forget that when you are studying in the Schengen zone, you have to be creating opportunities for yourself. Do not migrate without a skill. Create opportunities for yourself so that you can have a lot of advantages to move to other places. I hope this video helps you till we meet again in another one. Bye.